offense based around ball movement and player movement, and the results speak for themselves. Gasol on the drive. Fires from downtown. Bobby Portis with his third assist of the night. That's a thing of beauty right there. The three-point shot, nothing but net. Jeff, the Bulls, you know, are going to be right there fighting night in and night out. If Derrick Rose stays healthy, they certainly have a chance to compete for a championship, don't they? Absolutely. The Eastern Conference is wide open. It really is. And Derrick Rose, we can forget, Mike, how good he was pre-knee injuries. The Bulls, with their talent level, they have a chance. And there's a timeout call. The Cavs down by 39. I don't understand the timeout management here. You need to try to keep the game within striking distance. Instead, they allow them to go on this big run to run up this huge lead, and now they take their timeout. Won't go for three. Kyrie Irving's 0 for 3 from long range. Lots of room there. The Bulls with the offensive rebound for a new 24. And they've been coming up with the ball consistently when it's coming off the backboard. They've done a great job on the boards early in this game. And now he moves around the defender. And Kyrie Irving with a nice play. That's just a nice layup right there. From the corner, a three-pointer nails it from downtown. He's four for four from the perimeter. When everybody is involved in touching the ball, like what's happening here in the first half, and you've got your assist total up, then you're going to create also a defensive intensity at the other end of the floor. And that's exactly what has happened here in the first half. The turnaround jumper, that's good. Two points. Remember last season, Jeff? First time NBA history, Powell and Marcus Gasol, the first brothers to start in the All-Star game. There are a lot of differences in those two brothers, but they have some similar characteristics as well. Agree. Both are terrific passers. Both can finish with either hand, and they both, with different body types, rebound the basketball. And oh, by the way, we'll probably see both in the Naismith Hall of Fame. Here's the Eurostep. Oh, that's a beauty. Flips it in. Timeout call. They need a 20. Look, you can't give up layups like that. You got to protect the basket and the paint at all costs. For the Cavaliers, number 23. Backing his man down. From deep in the corner. Hits the three. He's got the stroke going now. He's made six three pointers in this contest. You don't have a lot of room over there in the corner. You got to get your feet set, get on balance, and stroke. From beyond the arc, unable to convert from the three-point line. No question, they've dug themselves a huge hole here in the first half because they haven't been defensively dominant. But the way to get back in the game is contest shots just like that. Unable to flip it home. Cleveland's not having the kind of offensive consistency you need to win in this league. They just can't seem to get into a rhythm. Irving into the front court for the layup, and Kyrie Irving with the bucket. That's nice body control right there on that layup. Good finish. Rose for two, puts it out, able to put it in. Chicago's shooting 69% from the field. And there's no denying how well they've started this game on the offensive end of the floor, making an early impact on the scoreboard with great offensive balance. James, the jumper. Gasol, the rebound. He's averaging 10 rebounds per game this season. Looking to curl in. Gibson for two, shoots away. 
This is his first shot. Jeff Smith won the NBA Six Man of the Year Award with the Knicks 2013. First Nick to win the award since your guy, John Starks, in 97. When Smith is right, he's a heck of a player. He is. Oftentimes we focus on his antics versus his game. But when he is playing at his high point, he's obviously a dynamic shot maker, but he's also a good passer. And I think that gets overlooked. This guy's a good NBA player. Unfortunately, we don't talk enough about his game. Irving into the front court. Love against Gibson. Love for two. Can't get it to go down. Gasol on the drive to the rim. No good on the layup attempt. This defense just isn't good enough. The ball's at the basket too often, too easily. He just missed a very makeable shot. Wide open for three. Won't go from outside the arc. J.R. Smith's 0 for 3 from beyond the arc. Rose is trying to get down low. Nice finish around the rim. A 9-0 run for the Bulls. Love for two, lets it go. It's good. And Kevin Love with his first field goal of the night. Number 23, LeBron James. Miritich against James. A three. And time expires here to end the first half. Chicago's so impressive in. Jeff, I know you're a big movie guy. This past off season, LeBron James acted in some movies. Is he a better actor than a player? Well, his opponents would say he acts on the floor with some of his spot, but. He's got another profession he's going to be good at, Mike. And doesn't it somewhat make you sick to your stomach that one guy is so good at so many different things? <laughs> Pass is broken up, stolen by James. the rim. The Cavaliers with the offensive rebound for another possession. Gibson's looking to do damage in the paint and hits the three. He's seven for eight from outside. The easiest three in the book, the corner three. Right down Main Street. Gibson, the rebound. He's averaging seven rebounds per game this season. Throws it up from deep in the corner. Derrick Rose with his eighth assist of the night. Nothing prettier than the spot up three point shot. That one was dead center right from the start. Boy, there's some incredible point guards these days in the NBA, Jeff. And you look at a guy like Kyrie Irving. Is anybody a better ball handler? Now, listen, he is a special, special player when he's at the top of the floor, either in transition, one-on-one, -on -one, or in the high pick and roll.
The guy has a unique handle. He can get to any spot on the floor he wants. And his greatness has been obscured prior to LeBron James coming back to Cleveland because he wasn't playing in any meaningful games. Now, because of James and Kevin Love being there, they're playing in meaningful games. and we're getting to see all of his talents come to the forefront. Great to see Kevin Love back in Cleveland. It was killing him to be on the sidelines during that playoff run last year, Jeff. He's gonna be a huge bonus this season. Exactly, particularly when you miss due to injury, Mike, and he had sacrificed so much role-wise. And again, his ability to shoot long range, to post, and offensive rebound, that combination is really difficult to find. Love against Rose. Blows past the defender. Won't go, and the scoring draft.